Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another tutorial on Unity. Today we're going to add a lens flare to our direction light. So you don't require any external texture for the lens flare, but if you want to make some custom lens flares, then yes, you require external texture. The default material can also be used for making a good looking lens flare. So let's see how. So I have a direction light in my scene. And if you don't see the sun, you can just rotate to make sure the sun is visible in your camera. Now the size of the sun is dependent on what type of skybox you're using. So the default skybox has a sun of this size. So now I'm not going to add anything else to the scene. We are just going to add the lens flare. So the first step is to create a flare asset. So just go to your project window, right click, create and uh, lens flare, lens flare. So let's call it flare. If you are using URP or HDRP, uh, you will see lens flare SRP in brackets because URP and HDRP don't have an inbuilt lens flare. So they'll be using the standard render pipelines lens flare. So once it, the flare is selected, the first thing you have to do is to set the texture. So I don't have any external texture. So if you have any external texture, you can use that. Otherwise, it's better to go with the default, I think the particle, default particle texture. And I'm going to set the texture layout to a single texture. The element size is basically the number of flares you want. So if you just go to Google and type lens flare, you can see the size of the flare is basically increasing as it moves away from the sun. We are also going to do the same. So let's go back to Unity and we are going to have four players. And once you click four, you can see there are four elements here. The first one is going to be on the sun and the position is going to be zero. So let's increase the size. Uh, you can see that we are not able to preview it. The reason is you have to first set the flare asset to the direction light. So click on the direction light and you see a flare option here. Just drag and drop your flare component. So now we are able to preview it. So let's go back to our flare asset. And I guess the size is good enough. Okay, so 13 looks good. And I'm not going to use a light color for this. Let's use some orange. A yellowish kind of light okay so this is fine now next element let's increase the size to may say four and let's increase the position okay 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 yeah point two looks good yeah size I guess 4 is very small but it's okay as of now so let's give it a little bluish color bluish white yeah and then let's go to element 2 and this was at point 2 so let's make it point 5 and let's increase the size okay there you go nice lens flare and color that is greenish okay and our final lens flare what was the position it was 0.5 so let's make it 0.7 and this was size was 6.95 so i'm going to make this as so that's how my lens flare is going to look. So you can adjust the position, move it a little bit front and back depending on how you want your lens flare. And you can use external textures for each of these elements and make it look much better. So this is how you can create a simple lens flare in Unity. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.